This is the Samsung M20 mobile phone. It looks gorgeous, but it has a lot of pre-installed applications which are undesired. So in this video, I will be trying to get rid of them. So first, let us navigate to the apps. Okay. So many pre-installed applications. We will try to get rid of them one by one. Storage booster. You can disable some of them. Samsung members. I don't really care about a Samsung membership. I'll better uninstall it. Samsung Notes. I don't care about a Samsung Note. Samsung Max. Disable it. We just got rid of it. Samsung Internet. It is a browser provided by Samsung itself. Samsung Cloud. Uh, you can disable the Samsung Cloud for some reason. And it doesn't use up much space, so it's okay. Next. You have this reminder thing. Reminder thing, I think it will be useful. Radio, Google Photos, OneDrive. I don't use OneDrive. Office Mobile. Okay, let it be. It might be useful. My Galaxy. Even this is a Samsung application. I don't think we will be needing it. This is a file manager. Next one is Maps. Uh, LinkedIn isn't necessary. Next, Google Play Movies. game launcher isn't useful either this phone is for my mother so she wouldn't be using a game launcher anyway let the gallery be galaxy store this is i think you can't get rid of this galaxy store facebook if you don't really use it you should not have it this takes up a lot of memory battery and uh, i mean even the storage memory and the random access memory. Dio, a dictionary. Who needs a dictionary these days? You can just Google for the word. Next. What do you mean by device care? Even this is a pretty much useless app. Daily Hunt. This is a news application. There's a lot of bloatware in this. So, uh, I think we have pretty much got rid of most of the things that can be uninstalled what is halo this is some some other chat application what is link sharing okay so i haven't inserted any sim card but still it shows my it samsung max voice recorder okay now it's cool now let us see see now we just have one page of applications that are desirable. I have a prime subscription so I just let it be. There are a few useful Samsung apps that I have left them. And uh, it also has Google applications. So this is the best you can get out of this. I got rid of the bloatware. So you can do the same. 